The Kathleen Wynne Liberals have a small lead over Tim Hudak and the Conservatives, according to a couple of recent polls. So things are definitely heating up on the campaign trail. The leaders are starting to use much stronger language as they need to score points. A more aggressive NDP leader, Andrea Horvath, is stepping up her attacks on the Liberals. Horvath says the Liberals are corrupt, but stops short of calling Wynne herself corrupt. Wynne is trying to stay above the name calling, but took aim at Tim Hudat today, as well as Horvath, saying the NDP leader is making false accusations. I have said very clearly that I believe this Liberal Party has, uh, has behaved in a way that is corrupt. Uh, they have corrupt. used tax dollars uh, inappropriately. They have, uh, they have decided to feather their own political nest instead of look after the needs of Ontarians. A billion, over a billion dollars on the gas plant scandal alone. Andrea Horvath, um, she doesn't know why she rejected the budget. She has, uh, she has made no explanation of why she plunged uh, this province into an election campaign. And so, uh, I guess that's why she is slinging mud, you know. I think that uh, it's, it's where she has gone, making false accusations that she knows are not true. And for PC leader Tim Hudak, it was another day of staying on message, talking about balancing the budget and creating jobs. Hudak also attacked the Ontario College of Trades as a self-serving creation of the Liberals to reward union friends and special interest groups. The PC leader called the college a tax on those who use their hands and said he is out to help the working class. And this College of Trades makes no sense. It's an expensive new bureaucracy made up of job-blocking bureaucrats with political motivation to give more power to the special interests and less power to working people. I stand with the workers. I stand with the underdog. Well, they don't wear the red, the blue, the orange, or green, but they still want your vote. So-called fringe parties are knocking on your door and in some cases actually broadcasting, asking you not to spoil your ballot, but instead support them. Christina Howard sat down with some of these outlying candidates and joins us with details on their platforms. Christina. Tara, there are more than a dozen different parties running in this election. Sure, there are the Big Three and the Green Party, and then there are the single issue parties, like the Equal Parenting Party running in Huron Bruce, or the Communist Party running in London North Centre. But there are still many other art parties with bigger reaches. Family Coalition leader Eric Ames is taking a stand. In some ways, I think we're where the, the PCs should be because there's, uh, there's different policies that they seem to not be willing to talk about. Like traditional family values, a topic several family coalition candidates will happily broach. That's not an easy discussion to have, but uh, definitely we want to support life. Uh, the party has a, a pro-life uh, platform from conception to natural death. Ames, like Devin Wright and Tim Harnick, know they won't be part of the government, but they aren't afraid to try. If I get at least one more person in Woodstock, to think as a libertarian, I did my job. There are over 70 libertarian candidates across the province, running on a platform of less government, more rights and more freedom when it comes to health care. We would uh, improve the funding model where uh, the hospitals didn't get paid until the patient left the facility. We'd also bring in a nominal copay so people aren't plugging the doctor's offices with runny noses and stuff like that. And while not every fringe party is in it to win it, others, like the Freedom Party, are. The London-based party is running 42 candidates in this election, technically enough to form a minority government. And they have a flashy ad campaign to help them in their efforts. Maybe you've seen it. A freedom government will restore trust in government by balancing the budget this year and every year without massive job cuts. Or their all-color signs. It's a party with a fully costed shadow budget and one that's running on two issues, a balanced budget and... Pulling the plug on those overpriced liberal green energy schemes. Not just the ones that are planned, but the ones that are already in existence. They're running candidates in nearly every local riding. Well, the decision was made uh, as a matter of strategy to build London as our toehold in the legislature. Depending where you live, you could also vote for the Communists, Equal Parenting Party, None of the Above Party, or the paupers. But regardless of your choice, every candidate just wants people to get out and vote. One man can make a difference. And you can make a difference by hitting the polls early. Advanced polls open this Saturday and run through the 6th. Election day is June 12th. Tara. Thank you very much, Christina.